What's up guys, it's Justin Wong and I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's video because it's going to be a different one. So I just came back from DreamHack. They got me out there doing, you know, beat a pro. So I was playing people beat a pro. They had a pyramid thing. It was really sick. See what you think about my gameplay for modern games. I don't really play at all. Um, but other than that, you know, like, share, subscribe, turn on bells and enjoy this video. DreamHack San Diego was it was a blast. I had uh, so much fun. Um, this is kind of the first time that, you know, I've been flown out as a, a content creator and not just like a fighting game player going to a tournament. And the pyramid thing was cool because the first thing you see when you walk in DreamHack is like this giant like kind of shape of a pyramid, not like actual pyramid from like Egypt, but you know, like a video, like a gamer version, right? And people that were gonna play like Beta Pro, they had like um, it's Fortnite Pro name uh, from, from FaZe named Sway. And you know, he his line was all like, you know, really young people, like really young kids. Um, my line started forming up and it I was surprised. Like I didn't think people would um, line up to play me and it was crazy because you know the, the age age gap was probably around like 18 to like close to 40s it was cool like you know i didn't i, I did not have any kids come up to play me whatsoever because maybe it's not that time for fighting games yet maybe for street fighter 6 or tekken 8 or project l but definitely you know i had some young people but also definitely um, an older crowd for sure it was really cool because i was able to you know talk to these guys and answer their questions right answer the questions about like you know how do you get better uh what do you think about this matchup and surprisingly it was it was really fun like i i, I really did enjoy the conversations we did it for two days uh fridays and saturday for two to four and friday i didn't lose anything i didn't lose any matches whatsoever in you know the, the game i'm probably weakest in that was able to be selected was uh guilty gear strive you guys know like i'm not the best guilty gear strive player you probably never see you it's it's rarely seen on the channel um i rarely stream it <clears throat> but I, I play may i throw dolphins totsugeki all day and i didn't lose any on the first day um so i was pretty proud of myself but then you know saturday came up and it was not a beta pro same thing like same same crowd uh, some some of the some of the same faces but definitely more new faces because probably saturday was uh dream hacks uh really you know that's when all the fighting game players show up right because that's where the, the main brackets show up and i actually lost three times i lost three times there i, I lost a jabril in marvel 3 who's a uh, probably the, one of the favorites to win evo this year really good um cheap ass zero may cry he's just really good i lost to um an anji player a really good anji player he mixed me up didn't know what was going on and then i lost and then my last match i lost to a go lewis player who you know who's just behemoth typhoon behemoth typhoon for me but then there was like lots of like players that were top eight in the tournament and i was able to beat them um, or like at least high placings like I beat this really good Milia player and he was mixing me so well but you know like I just tried to win in neutral and then yeah I was doing fantastic in, in that regards and I felt like pretty pretty proud oh I fought the person that got second place um, um I know I saw him play against Kizzy in in the bracket and he beat Kizzy for top eight and he ended up getting second place in tournament losing to Hotashi um and he played Leo and the crazy part is is that I beat him with my May and he probably didn't expect me knowing how to play, but you know, I probably would lose to him in a long set, but you know, in a, in a game, in a, in a, in a set with just only three rounds and we, you know, the winner, I forgot, I forgot to mention the winner. Anytime someone beats me, they get a, uh, a gift card, a $50 visa gift card from DreamHack. So, you know, it, it was tough because like, I don't really have a, a main game. What's my main game, guys? Probably Third Strike now, because I mean, that's probably what we see most in the channel, um, because we don't have a main game until Street Fighter 6 comes out at least, right? But yeah, but besides those, I, I fought against a, a person that made top eight at King of Fire's nine, uh, uh, King of Fire's 15, and I was able to win there. It was a really close, sweaty set. <laughs> so that was really fun just because I haven't, I, I missed playing that game for a long time. And I, you know, because so many people wanted to play me in Third Strike, I was like, you know, I'm gonna just throw it out there. Hey, look, hey guys, I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna be playing Third Strike. Uh, anybody wanna come play? Let's play. And then, you know, we were able to um, be a little sweaty there. You know, it was arcade cabinet, you know, the Astro City. And it's it's so fun. It's it's amazing to play offline Third Strike. It just feels so much different 
compared to fight kid what we normally play on right or when we go or yeah just or just online in general right it just felt perfect and i was able to get 55 wins there that was uh that was really awesome so we, we played a lot of people in fighting games um that whole entire time but the craziest part when i remember i mentioned that they flew me out as a content creator and not really a fighting game player yeah i was part of uh this creator this creator clash they did for charity and you know like they had captains i was on like team sea lions right and then whoever wins was able to like kind of like donate uh the all the money that's been donated from like the streams and then dreamhack would like throw in like i think twenty five thousand to the charity and it was for like the um, for charity of choice or i think it was like the autism um autism charity for san diego and it was a great cause so they, they we had to do things that were taking out my element but you know you guys know i love doing like you know raising money for charity for the kids and just for you know for a good cause um so we we did chess boxing chess boxing was an interesting one because you know i watched it on ludwig's and then you know i didn't think much about it i didn't know what it was about um, so uh, the person that we were playing against, his name is Matt, um, and he, 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 I believe he's from Sweden, or, or I definitely know he's from Europe for sure. He was awesome. Like I never played chess before, so I come in 10 a.m. in the morning, like 10:30 a.m. You know, because we had to set up around like 11, 11, 11 30 is when the show goes live. So he sees me, watches a you know YouTube video. I'm watching a YouTube, a 30 minute YouTube video of like like how to understand and play chess like it's from gotham chess it's a very great tutorial video it teaches you like the moves um how the pieces move uh what's the opening sequences how not to to lose in four turns how to protect your king think about like your, your pieces it really felt like fighting games because it was like neutral like it's like you know because you want to stay on the middle of the board it's like neutral and you you you're all about risk and reward like like if your pawn is, is going to take a piece you know you want to make sure that you always take a piece either equal or or something where you get the advantage of. so like the, if a pawn is one point and then what, a knight and a bishop is three points the tower is five points uh then the queen is nine points you you never want to like you know be in a, in a, in a in a, in a negative loss right and, and it's very fighting game the way he explained it matt was all that you know he he was really nice about it because he's like knows i'm a complete beginner and he wanted to teach me pretty much how to play chess uh so you know he showed me like like the puzzles and like what should i do here um like think about the strategies and it really helped me a lot for the challenges because you know he knew i was a complete beginner but like and he's he's also the, the 2019 um chess boxing world champion there's the boxing part so it's like kind of like round round one was uh throwing some punches and i mean i throw virtual punches but never a punch in real life we did the i learned how, i learned what one two means one two three four one two sway two one two one two one two so that was really cool right and then after the boxing one round you go you we played the puzzle round for chess and i was able to solve uh five puzzles uh, on my own um within i think like a two minute light a two minute span so i i hope that's good i don't know because like i said this is my first time ever interacting with chess in my life and then we had to play against matt and the goal is to survive you know as many moves as you can within three minutes so I'm already thinking I'm not trying to lose in four moves, right? But like I learn like how to do the castling thing. I learn, you know, make sure you want to get your um on at least your your where your board is, where like where your king is it, where your king is. You wanna make sure your your bishop and your knight is out the way so you can move your king and so then your king's just not stuck to be eaten like if the other person is playing aggressive. We went to the next segment for the charity, which was uh, playing Resident Evil 4 Remake Mercenary Mode. But that was really cool. It was pretty easy to understand, you know, kind of like you're playing Leon, you get these guns, um, you have X-Factor, I guess that's the Mayhem Mode, but it's X-Factor pretty much. Then there was a second round where you have to play with teammates, right? Teammates, and the funny part is, my teammates from the audience, one of them said, yeah, I know how to play this game. When I asked him, okay, like, you know how to do this, you know how to do that, he said no. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so I, I really, I'm just like, well, I'm screwed. But it was fun just playing Resident Evil 4 and trying to coach them how to play Resident Evil 4, even though I'm not a Resident Evil 4 pro. Um, that was really fun. And then there was a trivia round and then uh, 
Uh, my partner for that one was Stella Chu, who's an amazing cosplayer that's been cosplaying for a long time. But we knew a lot of the old school answers first for some of the trivia. But anytime when they asked about Grand Theft Auto, Saint Row, like those type of games, yeah, we got smoked. And then uh, I think the last round, Easter egg hunt. So there was like a little like kind of kiddie pool and we had to just find Easter eggs. Um, and then and then like I was just like mashed. Like I, I already like mapped out like i'm looking at the eggs right there's like mixed there's like the color eggs and there's like random balls and then i'm just like i'm like already mapping out where i need to get and the crazy part is like um you know i had like 16 eggs and then everybody had less eggs but the thing was i totally forgot about there was a golden egg so golden eggs were worth five points compared to their eggs i'm getting just been one point um but overall i mean i just i had a blast like it's i'm really happy that dreamhack san diego or dreamhack in general just uh reached out to me and you know, ask me if I want to do stuff like this because I had a blast. It was so fun meeting new people. Um, it was just great, a great weekend overall. So, yeah, I mean, I do highly recommend if you guys are looking for an event to go to that's like a mix of fighting games and also, you know, kind of the esports life, a convention life. Yeah, check out DreamHack. I know DreamHack Dallas is coming up and there's a DreamHack Atlanta, but if I really do hope there's another DreamHack San Diego because, yeah, it was great. But yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, most of the time you're just hearing me, listening to me. This is kind of like the first time I ever done something like this because I wanted to show off the DreamHack Be The Pro thing that we did um, and show DreamHack some love with, with the video. Um, but enjoy enjoy me uh, smoking people. Well, I hope you enjoyed me smoking people and me losing to people um, and also games that I normally, you don't normally see me play, but you see me playing. But, not, but this video is you see me in a competitive environment, right? Other than that, like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell's notification, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.